Okay, we got Paul, whose Twitter tag is best men's podcast ever, 100. And yes, he pays for Twitter Blue. And he says MGTOW was for quitters. And I can't see the original tweet because she blocked me because this Grigor gets kind of crazy on Twitter late at night. I'm actually on a yeah, six-day yeah, suspension right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I can't I've reply. Yeah. So what, what's the first pushback? And yeah, this guy, how many subs does he have? 10K Twitter followers, like 15K YouTube subs. And I think... I think this is his part-time job. He he doesn't he doesn't get enough clout to make this his full-time job. I'm sure he does. I don't know. He probably sells real estate or used trucks or something like that. I don't know. Right on. But he's desperately trying to make this manosphere coaching grift his main shtick. Is that that goof in your thumbnail? Um. Yeah. No, that is a thumbnail guy. Yeah. Mm, okay. So someone well, says that, that says a lot. Gyromite says, "Who decided that all men must value hedonism?" If you value it, great. But why does everyone else also value it? Big Tao have different priorities than you. They're being dishonest with themselves. That's not your problem. And his response is just the laughing emoji. Because hmm. his, well, is, his shtick is bang as much girls as possible. He's like, that's not hedonism. What's your opinion uh, on that? Well, my opinion is, is that he's wrong. That That is hedonism. Absolutely. 100%. It's debauchery. It's It's soul crushing. It's stupid. It's moronic. And uh, it's a big reason that the society is in the shape that it's in. Well, let's read his Twitter bio. Uh, this is, let me just put this question in my head real quick. Come let on, me just come balance on. myself. Why does Paul from the Best Men's Podcast not like MGTOW? What could possibly be the reason why? Well, his bio says, follow me to get better women. Oh, mm -hmm. certified master, master life coach. Master, master. Oh. Got to get that. Got to get that one in there. DM me if you need any help. Oh, I've been in a car crash. I'm bleeding out. I just see blood everywhere. <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> He's just like, well, you just got to, what, what, what's the car frame? The frame's busted. Well, you should have maintained framed. Click. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, this guy useless. <laughs> Absolutely you know, useless. Uh, what, what? Paul here is trying to say when he says that MGTOW are quitters or is that MGTOW are fucking with my bottom line. Yep. MGTOW are enlightening young men and for the very rarefied air of some women that actually get it, that actually understand and there are some out there. I, I mean, I don't know any personally, but I, I've seen a few around and uh, yeah, you're taking money out of my pocket. You're informing these folks and it doesn't sit well with Paul. Paul likes sheeple. Paul likes ignorant motherfuckers, stupid people, because he gets paid that way. Let's think about the quality of women that disagree with MGTOW but don't understand it, and those that disagree with MGTOW but they understand it. Mm -hmm. The ones that disagree and don't understand it, they're just going to call you gay. They'll call you an incel. Yeah. They'll call right? you incel, all kinds of shit, yeah. The ones that understand it but disagree is that they'll usually come from a very it's, – it's, it's the complete opposite. They're not insulting. They go – but you're, you're such a strong guy. We need men like you to be fathers, right? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. they could still be wrong, but they're not, you know, they're saying you are valuable. We need to make sure that value expands as opposed to you're not valuable. That's why you're big towel. Right. Well, I mean, they have to, guys like Paul here rolled up to Molly and Stephen Cooper. What's his name? Richard Cooper. Oh, I forgot his fucking name. Richard, Richard Cooper, the pooper scooper. Yeah. Mr. Single mother man. Um, <laughs> All of these cocksuckers do the same thing. The same thing. Uh, Bullshit Simpset was famous for it. All that fucking guy would do is come out with this raging argument and then crawfish on his own argument. You know? <laughs> one, of the most one of the most legendary moments of my channel <laughs> was, when, when, was when Bulldog <laughs> Mindset was speaking at the 21 Studios Fraud Convention. And in front of a crowd of 10 people, about to, like, <laughs> tears in his eyes. He's just like, you can call me bullcock bites. It doesn't hurt me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, yo, let me, let me, I'll tell you something that was just absolutely epic. I hate that word, but I, I can't think of another description for it. The first, the first MGTOW Red Pill Summit that we held 
in like 2016 or 17, there was a bunch of us that got together. It was streamed, I think, on... Um, I think Sydney what, Mictow did it. It was, it was Sydney, yeah. It was Sydney that put it together. And I can't remember the name of that, that service that we used. But uh, there were like 50 of us in there waiting. And then all of a sudden, Richard Cooper's webcam popped on. Oh, no. <laughs> and everybody went fucking bananas and like, fucking Cooper? And he was out. As fast Aww. as it came on and his face showed up. Oh, I remember that. He showed yeah, up and he, he, left. <laughs> he just left. He left. It was that fucking fast. And we laughed for 10 fucking minutes like banshees. How did he get the invite? Like I, I guess the invite just went out generally. And he ended oh, up showing up to he it. He should have stayed. I, God, that was funny. That was hilarious, man. There's, was like, hilarious. There's, been a lot of, um, there's been a lot of pickup roaches I've been calling out for years. And they're just, they spend the rest of their YouTube career running away from Monday Chronic. Well, they're going to continue to run. They, they're they not running to anything. They're running away from what They're running is to the them. shekels and away from chronic. Correct. <laughs> or anybody, anybody really that's telling the truth, man. Truth, truth is not guaranteed in, in any way to be easy to digest. And uh, the truth of life is not easy to digest. I need that, I need that Jurassic Park meme where that, where that blonde woman's hiding from the Velociraptors. Like his head is right by the corner, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like chronic with a flamethrower and it's a nervous roach. It goes, roachy, roast, doochy. It's time to get toasty. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, let's man. move on to his next, his next that... tweet. Oh, this is his page. Look. Holy Tired shit. of attracting the wrong woman. All in. He got the beanie. He's got the thoughts dancing. Well, let's go... Um, Let's go to his website. I think that's going to be much more in line to, uh, to go to his website to see just all the options for monetization. Mm. It's like, if you want to be a real man, you got to pay, you got to pay for it. Obviously. I mean, of course. I mean, what men do you know that didn't have to pay to be a real man? Your dad probably paid someone like, I'm just fucking, <laughs> I can't even keep that. Up. <laughs> so his, I don't know what that is. The come on man pod. Wait a second. What? Uh, like, come on, what? man. It's the come oh, okay. on, man. But okay. just phrasing, come on man pod. Huh. Hmm. I don't like that hammer hand. No, <laughs> no, you like the way no, that sounds. There should be a little punctuation or something in there because fuck that. Mm, that is uh, quite unfortunate. You chose that kind of word. Absolutely. Verbiage. Yes, absolutely. Well, what can he I've offer for us? Different. He says, I help men level up. These dudes treat men like goddamn Pokemon, Hammerhand. Well, they treat them like disposable objects, which is what they are. You can they are. Up. When you make yourself into a utility for scumbags like this, this is what you end up with. I help men level up and get better with women. Scroll below to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform or purchase products or services. Let me translate that for you. I, uh, I'm telling you that I have the secret to life and that I can get you laid. And you're not getting laid on your own, so I'm going to help you get laid, but not really. <laughs> he probably <laughs> practices chilling. He's just like, so make sure you subscribe to the Come On A Man. I mean, Come On Man podcast. Come On Man. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. Oh, let's see. Here. We can get a video from Paul about my exact situation. Oh, shit. Come I think we could pay him to talk about the problem with dating coaches. He'd probably take my money and then wouldn't uh, make the video. What we got here? Look, at, look, at, his, look at his bucks. ad, dude. Look at this. This guy's got to be one of the goofiest mofos I've Bro, seen. I, I want you to look at that. $47 to get an intro ad. Five minute, one to five minute video response for 70, 47, 47 fucking dollars. This is exactly what I tell all you guys that are listening to this right now. This is what I tell you about what I tell you about. Look, I appreciate the shekels. A chronic appreciates the shekels. Anybody mm. that you frequent appreciates the shekels. But Jesus Christ, man, I mean, we're not dangling carrots in front of your faces while you're starving to death, telling you if, if you if you want the, the carrot, you starving motherfucker, uh, pay me $47. We're you not know, doing that. Like, maybe I could sell, like, a five-minute roast for, like, 30 bucks on Rumble. Like, send me a picture I'm, of anybody you know. 
30 bucks and i'll just roast them for five minutes just roast them yeah yep. no, 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 I, shit i'd buy one of those i don't need to know anything about them i, I know a guy you know what you want me to make a five minute roast about the right eyebrow <laughs> get into <laughs> it motherfuckers done Oh, oh, stupid shit. framing. Look at his, like, he's putting his hands together like the meme, like, I'm the expert. He's look at his little pursed lips. Bro. I mean, I guess, bro. How old is he? Like, I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. Is he like 42, 43, you think? I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, people, strangely enough, men and women are looking very old today when they're young. When they're young. I bet this cat's probably 35. Let's just say, let's go for young. Let's say he's 35. A 35 year old man. And the way you make money is making stupid faces on the internet and selling bullshit advice. Well, That's pathetic. Yeah. It, you know, even the stupid faces, I mean, I could get behind that if it was just stupid faces. But selling faulty advice, th this terrible advice, it, it's a lie. Selling these lies to guys that are already fucked up in the head, man, it, it's, it's a bad fucking prescription right there. Oh, wow. Uh, one to five minute video response. Nice. Okay, let's check out. Let's check out the cringe cast here. Check out his YouTube page because that's what he's been making his shekels. See the whole the come on thing there. Come, come you on, gotta, you, it's, it's come it's got, on a man podcast. Right, hammer, hammer, respect right, the brand. Right. <laughs> it has to be C apostrophe M A N. Come on, man! And then everybody gets what you're saying, but the way he's doing it right now, it's like it's an offer to get come on. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's fucking gross. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. He's like looking in the mirror late at night. He's like, I need more shekels. I can feel <laughs> the zinc zombies. The zinc ghosts talking to me at night. Oh, is there a way? Is there a way to quench my thirst? And then the lightning strikes. You see the silhouette of Jack Murphy standing outside his porch. No way. <laughs> the lightning crashing. Yeah. <laughs> he like slowly approaches the window with a smile. He goes, He's, he's like, oh, Lord Murphy, how do I quench the thirst? Oh, I was man. told I was sus and gay. And Murphy goes, <laughs> there are ways of the slippy slide. Oh, I knew you were going to say it. And this oh, come on, man, God. guys, is like, no, tell me about oh, why I have not learned about the ways of the slippy slide. And Jack Murphy looks, he's like, it's not a method the red pillars would tell you about. No. It's cutscene. <laughs> My son, first you must become familiar with the sphincterization <laughs> of plastic objects. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking motherfucker. Your name will be shit. Small Troublesome Beard. I'll be Big Bad Beard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need you to meet my new wife. This is Aperture. Let's check his uh, first. Let's check his about, and of course, he's got the full monetization. He's got the store enabled. He's got all this other stuff. Let's see what he says about himself. Oh, not actually, he doesn't use this at all. The same as his Twitter. It's just linked up. Oh, look, he's got a TikTok. He's got a Twitter. He's got a Spotify. He's on Google Podcasts. He's on Apple Podcasts. He's on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Wow, when he must he... really be helping men out. So he joined. December 2020, 5.5 million views. You know, my last channel was in operation for 10 months and I had almost 10 million views. That's some amateur hour stuff. I mean, so I mean, I, I'm just a Grigga. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to YouTube, but uh, yeah, right on, right on. Right let's on. go to, let's just see what, let's see what, how we started the grift. I'm very interested in how they start the grift always. Uh, let me catch you back in a second, sir. I got to go drain the main. You're man. good. He has the same stupid thumbnail for the majority of his videos. Okay, what we got here? First ever video. She canceled on me two years ago. 60 views. Next video. What I learned about texting. 35 minutes long. 64 views. Calls from 3% brother. Oh, this guy's a 3%er? He's in the top 3%. Look at this guy. Isn't he obviously from the top 3% of men? What else he's make? So it looks like he started talking about like the whole get chicks early on, which is funny. Um, interview with dating coaches. That's a very sus hairstyle, bro. Make sure you don't grow any kind of mustache. Just, just letting you know. When to text a chick? Lost my center. Always go for the kiss. Always. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just Oh, these grifters. They get ridiculous, don't they? Those recent videos. Oh, we talked to Sarah. Of course you talked. Wait. Of course he talked to Sarah Don Moore. <laughs> why, am I, why am I not surprised? Of course this guy is the kind of talk to Sarah Don Moore. That's where I've seen him before. Yep. That's where I've seen him before was fucking Sarah Don Moore. Yep. That's where I've seen him. She's spunky, guys. Oh, look. He also had an interview with Yo Elliot on hot monogamy. Hmm. Yeah. How did he get the, like, one of the Elliot bros talking to this grifter? And look, uh, if I talk to Eli, one of the Elliot brothers, how many views would I get in like a year on that? Uh, I'd at, imagine at least 20, 30,000, maybe more. Yeah, it'd be kind of hefty. This guy talked to Elliot for five minutes about a year ago, had 114 views, bro. Bro, I just looked at, uh, but just before I jumped on here with you, I was looking uh, at one of your older videos, like seven months ago. And it was the one where you said Mia Khalifa loses it on air. That motherfucker's got almost half a million views logged on it. Uh, that's a short. Uh, it doesn't. Count. Yeah, very short, but still. Um, oh, look at this one. It, ha hammer. Don't you want to buy his course? Look at the premium content here. Six dating app pictures. Every man needs 100. Is that right? Yep. Damn. If only I had known before I committed my life to myself, maybe I could have just given it away to someone else. Oh, here's a new one. Most guys in Red Pill haven't read the books. These guys are ignorant. Mm. To me, Red Pill, you have to buy a grifter's book. Wait, why am I not surprised a grifter that's selling products in the Red Pill tells you if you don't buy grifting Red Pill products, you're not really a Red Pill? I uh, I can't understand. I'm sorry, Chronic. I, I have an admission to make. Uh -oh. I can't understand normal thinking with motherfuckers like this. And uh, I, I can't, I can't commit to truth, honor, justice, morals, ethics, values, principles. I can't do any of that stuff if I don't go out and buy a whole bunch of dumb fucking books <laughs> that lie to my face. So. I would look. I feel like I would like to collect some of these ridiculously cringe books. I wouldn't want to pay for them because it's like I don't want to like give them money. But can you imagine just like, it's like the equivalent of like World War II war trophies. Like you come to visit the Chronic Mansion, there's like a little bookshelf in like a glass case of all mm. fresh books that never been opened. It's just like all the like, mm -hmm. Giga Chad 101, how to level up the secrets to women, <laughs> women ease. I just, I just sit in this. front of the case at night and smoke Kush, <laughs> laugh look at, at it. Look at this, look at this dumb shit right here. Scorched earth policy yep. with, with Rianne Rian Stone. Stone. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the betas are coalescing. It's like, Transformer just, shit They're coming together. Just don't get it. I just don't get it, man. Let's well, you know what? That's not that's not true. I I do completely understand where this comes from and why men try to try this out first is because they just don't want to believe what the world is. Look at this. Using pause, plausible deniability and seduction. Look, old grandpa's going to teach you how to get bitches now. <laughs> right on, bro. This guy was on the Titanic and now he's going <laughs> to teach you how to get bitches. <laughs> Does, doesn't it just hold on don't don't move off of that doesn't it annoy the fuck out of you when you see like 87 year old guys wearing what beanies did, what did you do with your entire life not even though it's not wearing beanies I don't, it's not the beanies making me upset it's more like you're inside at a podcast with a beanie you're 85 what did you do your entire life no it bugs the shit out of me it bugs me i i'm i can't speak for anybody else but it bugs the shit out of me every time i tune in uh, accidentally to a rolled up tamale. Uh, I, I see him wearing that fucking that cap, and I'm like, "What the fuck, bro? Take that fucking thing off!" Doesn't he have pretty long hair too? Uh, well, it's sort of like Crip Keeper hair. Ugh. You know, it just <laughs> ugh, it's exact amundo. Yeah, it, no, no, no. Uh, let's talk about STIs. Do you? Th oh, that might be fun to listen to. I mean, you got Boomer Wait. McGee who was around before penicillin was invented. <laughs> <laughs> and you got this and you got this what's uh, they all wear beanies don't they all of them yeah yeah like a well not all of them but a lot of them really do man and i i think it comes down to 
insecurity about hairlines, man. You know, and I'm not trying to bag on nobody because, homie, I ain't got a hairline. <laughs> Hammerhand's bald. You know what I'm saying? Bald you know? mugging on these people. <laughs> there ain't no hairline there, but I'm not insecure about it. I mean, goddamn. It, pardon me. Uh, Ten Hail Marys and fuck I don't know. Maybe, I mean, maybe that's an option here. I'll put, it, I'll put that in a new tab. Maybe we'll watch these two people talk about STDs and see. I, I'm just, I'm very interested in their opinions on something I know they have no training in. You just uh, you just kind of hit on something right there that I wanted to address. Have you seen how people are trying to redefine STDs by calling them STIs? Have you seen that? Because I've noticed that here lately. Well, or is there something to it? It's there's there's a difference between a disease and an infection, right? But they've so, never been called STIs. No, they're always called STDs. But you know, a lot of STDs traditionally, you like HPV. You right. don't get rid of HPV, herpes. You don't get rid of herpes, right. HIV. As of now, you don't get rid of HIV. So those are diseases. Can't get rid of them. Right. Infections you can typically clear and get rid of. Mm -hmm. But that being said, you get you get syphilis, you get gonorrhea, you get right. chlamydia. There's a ton of things down. Like you get, let's say you get, um, let's say you get chlamydia in your twenties. And you don't re you don't really realize it until like it just you're burning to pee because there's a time for it to to wind up right. It's not right. just like you get one little chlamydia and then bam, it burns to pee. It's those those organisms have time to reproduce. Have you seen the images of bacteria reproducing on a plate like in a sci-fi film or horror film? Yeah, yeah, it's going on in your reproductive tract. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. you know those dudes in their in their twenties, a lot of them in their fifties, they just have like prostate pain. And they don't know why. And the scientist, they, the scientists would take samples of their prostate and be like, "Well, there's signs of chlamydia here, but they don't have a chlamydia infection." Yeah, some of them basically become spies and they chew on your tissues. Some of them make yeah. you infertile. So, like, yeah, you clear the infection, but this is a chance you have a disease. So it's like, when I hear infection, I think like you know pus coming out of a penis, right? Or, right. You know, or like an active infection, like you can see the the, the herpes erupting. I'm on just someone's a little, genitalia. Uh, I'm just a little paranoid about the way that I, I hear this nomenclature that has been established for fucking decades and decades and decades just all of a sudden start shifting. So, I mean, look, if there's a good reason for it and there's something to it, then cool. I, I'm, I'm there's, down there's with There's something to it, but it's also like STDs. The, the, just hearing STD has such a negative stigma and culture, which it should, that mm -hmm. they change it to make it feel bad. But in 10, 15 years... If some chick says she's had STIs before, it's going to be the same as STDs. It's like why people can't say the R word anymore. They say special or, or like, you know, yeah. like neurodivergent. Yeah. Well, guess what? Kids right now are, call, are making fun of each other by calling each other neurodivergent. Yes. It doesn't really change. It just, you it, can't hide what it is. You, you can change the descriptor all day long, but you can't hide it. Yep. You know, uh, so, you know. They're oh, always going to do this that. one. Make her crawl through broken glass with a Rianne stone. Look at this goofy. Mother. Why would you want to do that to somebody that you supposedly like? <laughs> That's another option. That's an odd way of describing a video, man. Make her That's crawl so through weird. broken glass. Hit her in the back of the head with a monkey wrench. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, these fuckers run around all day talking about, you know, my child got problems. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have? Become a man of process. Hold yourself accountable. Don't be a fat ass. I'm just curious. Uh, you know, look, if you're not trying to attract a female, then what's wrong with having a little junk in the trunk? What's wrong with it? Married virgin? I even... Yeah, I'm looking for more cringe here. stuff. Oh, wait. Did he get to talk to Rolo? No, he's talking about his 10th mat. Listen to this. Rolo Tomasi's 10th maxim of game. Married guy has been married for over 20 years. has 10 maxims of game. No, bud. <sighs> no. You're not. Are you running game on your wife and kids? <laughs> he's, he's, watch, he's watching dudes run game on his daughter, bro. <laughs> I mean, my God. Can you imagine what a fucking colossal failure and disappointment that is? Jesus. Jesus. I, I remember the quote. He's like, I know she's going to college. I know she's dating around and sleeping around. Look at these view counts, bro. He's barely getting over 200 views. Like, he gets, like, obviously when he does a collab with some rando. Like, look, 1.3K views. Congratulations. Um, oh, that's fucking, uh, that's Texas Desert Sailor. No idea who that is. 
It's one of our guys, man. He's he's a pretty good guy. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, he's a pretty good guy. He's got him in there for a few of them. Damn, I didn't even recognize him with the length there on the beard. Have I ever How talked to him before? Was that? I don't think I've ever talked to him. No, he was in a live. Uh, he was in a call-in show I did a couple of couple three months ago. He's been going through some hard times, man. I, I was. Uh, I was. When was that? that was that better. like a year ago? Uh, maybe six months. Uh oh, looks like he he was going through hard times when he talked to this dude. Yeah, <laughs> don't go, don't call into the Come On a Man podcast if you're not mentally fortified, brothers. <laughs> don't do it. Come on, men. No, man, you're not supposed to say it that way. But that's what it says, bro. Come on, is it, man. Is it Come On Men? Is it Come On A Man? Is it Come On Me? Like I don't know. Like one, all you gotta do is remove or add one letter eight different ways, and it sounds gay as hell, bro. It's Change the misleading, branding, bro. Pretty misleading. What else we got? One million dollars could be free from Black Spider Guy advice. Who is this guy? To, who is this guy talking what? to? Black Red Spider Bill Guy, Web on... Slinger. And this no, is no, a no. TikTok dude. I think this is a TikTok. He, he's dude. a TikToker. He's funny as fuck. You know he is. He's funny as fuck. He's a TikToker. Black Spider Guy. What are you doing on this guy's show? <laughs> <laughs> this just looks so goofy. I just I can't take any of this seriously. I can't. Uh, it's it's kind of hard, man. Kind of hard to do, but okay. Learn to fight. Don't be a bish. Guns aren't magic. Pretty magical. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Let's go to the recent. Let's see what he's recently talking about. Um, this is the one that yeah he had a tweet calling Aaron Clary your daddy. He's your daddy. Dad, Aaron Clary, the dad you never had. Oh man, I, look, I obviously everybody knows I have I have my issues with Clary, but it, they're not so extreme that I don't realize that that, that Aaron is a benefit to this space. But you got to stop being a fucking douche knuckle too. You know? Um, just be here for the guys, man. Be be here to get guys on the right path. I don't know him, but he's got the Zoomer haircut. He's an old man that doesn't have any skills. Only way he makes money is grifting online, and he's sucking on a cigar the way Riley Reed sucks on a pole. I don't like him. <laughs> well, you have to prove for me. You have to prove to me. Like, look, you have to prove to me you're not a grifter at this point. Well, Clary's been around for a long time, and uh, he's he's done a lot of successful things. I have to say that he's done some successful stuff. He's been a longtime sponsor of uh, Redonculus. So, okay, Aaron. Maybe I only apologize if you come on my show and explain yourself. Until then, I don't like you. That's the thing. Chronic's a salty sailor. Chronic's a salty sailor. The man's fair. I just don't like most people. They're like, Chronic, I'm a fan. I'm like, fuck, friendly fire happened again. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 